Well, good day, tubes. How is she hanging today? Pretty good here. So we're on the container today. We're going to do a little more work on the 800 here. Try to clear up a couple more things and uh, see if I can find anything else that needs looked at. <laughs> um, let's have a look here. Everything. I haven't put oil in it yet, so I can't start it up yet. Um, everything should be good to do that though. Uh, over on this side they've got some real weird Mickey Mouse thing that they made for the oil filler. I ordered another one. I have no idea what they were thinking here but uh, anyways <laughs> I ordered the proper one for it. So that's on its way and uh, what else we got to do. I want to look today at some of this pedal stuff here and see see what's happening with this kind of sort of stuff and uh seem to have an awful lot of an awful lot of play there before it kind of engages that's about engaging there and then there's i mean there's lots of pedal after that but really 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 don't want to have to split this one. I don't know how this one actually comes apart. I haven't quite figured that out yet. It's got about a, a little bit of different stuff on it and uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure. I guess there's a bolt there and a bolt there. Yeah, about the same I guess. And then uh, there's something holding. I don't know what this little bolt is here for. And there's bolts I really don't want to have to split this one. I don't think I'm going to unless it's absolutely necessary Because that's quite a bit of work with this one too. I really don't want to have to put a clutch in this but um, I Mean I've got a little bit of I've got a little bit of Adjustment yet here. So but I'm losing an awful lot there So I want to take this apart This is a bolt I guess someone's put in here and uh, it's definitely not right so I want to take that off and then see uh, what we got going on in there. Now, what is this other one here? That's going back to the brakes there. Interesting. Oh, I know what that is. That comes through the other side, through the tractor, and then to this brake drum. That's what that is. So if you push on the one brake pedal over here, uh, that should be the one closest to the tractor, it kind of run a lever through and through, and then that's how they do that instead of having one on each side. I kind of like that better, but I really don't like this style of clutch, I'm going to say. I kind of like the clutches better, like on the 8N, like these ones, but they sort of, for some reason, went this way. I don't really know why, but that's what they did. So, anyways, we'll get you on a tripod here. We'll get that bolt out of there, and uh, it's even got an extra bolt hole here, so, you know, I could go ahead and another one. And then you'd have to unadjust this a bit. That would pull it a bit further, get a bit more pedal up. But it's weird having to, instead of pushing down, you gotta have your foot like this and then push it down. It's really odd. You know, because if it's right up, it should be right up about there when it starts to engage. So there's a lot of nothing right there. I don't really like that, but we'll take this off, see what we got in here, and uh, see what we can do. So I don't know why they've got this in here. It must have lost the original. Oh, it's not even tight. Really? <laughs> I just hope I don't have to braze anything. I really hope it's just this bolt that's kind of wore out. It's coming off. And I don't know if I've got the proper pin for that. I've got a, a set of pins. Oops, sorry, I've got a set of pins down there, but I don't know if I've got the right size. Oh no. Oh, that fell apart. Well, there's a bit of wear on there. A little bit of wear on there. Oh, there's an awful lot of wear in that though. Oh, that's the part I didn't want to be wore out. And that's not terrible bad, but there's a... My flashlight out here, there's a lot of wear on this. Oh, not my pen. My light. Oh boy. Of course, that's attached to the shift fork and then there and there too and the, all that stuff. I really, 
<laughs> I really didn't want that part to be wore out. I mean, I can fix that, but it'd be a lot easier to fix it if that was a part. And I'm not taking the part just to get that out. Holy crap. Now, the next thing I could probably do is bush this out a bit. This is pretty opened up too, though. But I do have, yeah, there's a, I got tangle, there's a lot of wear. There's a lot of wear in that. A lot of wear in that. Now, mind you, that bolt's got a lot of wear too. Surprisingly, you know, it's probably not that strong of a bolt, but it has wore into this guy. Let's get you a closer look here. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm not liking that so much. Um, there's a lot of play there, kind of, I think, before it actually engages, but... Uh, oh, man. And normally what I would do is I'd probably just braze that close again, even though the brazing is really soft, too, and it probably wouldn't last long. Um, I wonder if I can... I don't want to make it too much bigger, like drill it out and bigger. It's, it's actually almost wore another half a hole there, believe it or not. Gosh, I wish this thing was a... that's a stopper there. I wish that was a... Uh, kind of a removable thing from outside here. Why would they make it like that? So that's not much fun. That is something I am not looking forward to, to try and fix that. Now, I would braze that, but I could almost probably get in there maybe with my MIG gun. This might be cast, though. Could be cast. It's going to be hard to weld that. Oh. Well, now let's see here. This other hole. Yeah, that's about the right size. I think I'll go down and grab a pin just for fun and get a the proper pin for it here and see if that'll fit in there better. I just want to see what it does to the pedal and stuff when I put it in, say, the second hole here. Okay, I brought a couple of different sizes, thicknesses. I don't know what they are, but uh, anyways. I think the bigger one I've got here would be... It's not far off of that one, but it'd still be out of shape. And it's probably still too big for this. Yep, so that one's no good. I don't really want to drill this at any bigger because there's not a whole lot of meat left on this one, but this is uh, not tremendous either, so it's a bit tight on that one. Oh, that's about right there, though. That would uh, bring up the pedal a little more. That wouldn't be so bad. And then here it's really not good. Needs a lot of work. <laughs> what doesn't though, right? What fun it would be if everything was perfect all the time. I don't know what I would do. Let's see if I can get her into this one though, just for seeing what happens here. Well, that's not bad. Still got a little bit of play there. But it definitely brought it up more. Let's have a look here. I'm not too sure if I want it that high though because the way that, uh, this is, I believe the proper seat, this might have been a little bit more of a deluxe seat back then, but it's too close for me. And uh, I can move it back a hair a little bit, but not a lot. So I think I might look for one of those spring ones, you know, like the old style ones anyways. But uh, that brought this up quite a bit. There's a bit of play there and that's all right, but then, uh, Holy jumping, I don't know if I can push her down. Yeah, that's definitely brought that up a bunch. But uh, like I say, like, holy cow, it's gonna be up here. I mean, I gotta get a, a good push onto that. And I think if I can try to get that seat back a bit, maybe that would help. Cause I find I'm like sitting too close. Well, yeah, it's not comfortable, right? So, <sighs> well, well. Now this would adjust a bit too. I think this nut's a little bit wonky. Oh, it's turning though. This would adjust and even take a little more of that out. 
Although I don't know if you can actually push that too far. If you know what I mean, like, if I adjust this up some here, if you can actually push too much on that clutch in there. <laughs> Look at the paint job. Just get her where it looks good. Don't worry about underneath. That's hilarious. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Fell off. Well, it's got a bit more back, but... Getting a bit of play in there, too, but you know this thing's not new, right? So... Now I could... I don't know how much adjustment's left there, is adjust that screw out more. And that won't allow it to come back so far to be stopping about there, but I don't think I'd have that much left. That would keep it from, you know, going way back, right? Going way back like that, I could uh, have it stop about there, maybe, but that's just where it's starting to hit, I guess, on the paws on the inside of the clutch there. Uh, it's better, but there's still tons of play inside of here. I think for now, though, I'm gonna try that. And uh, I might just have to get the MIG in there, my, my big Miller, and uh, zap that closed a little bit, and then... Uh, it's gonna be super tight there. Zip it closed a little bit, and then uh, grind it back out with my little burr tool, and that might help that a bit. But that stuff's not the hardest either, but I think it's harder than the, uh, the brazing stuff. So yeah, I think that'll have to do for now anyways. A little better, but look how far back it is. Holy jumping. I don't know if I'm going to be able to reach that. I should try it, I guess. Okay, so here we are driving along. Holy cow, I got to reach way back for that feller. I don't know if I like that or not. Yeah, I don't think I like that too much. It's almost like it's going back too far. So that, uh, see if I can get that adjuster screw out more or something. That's like way back. I can't go back much more than that. Kind of feels like I'm hitting down and I don't know if you should be right to the floorboard or not, but uh, definitely got lots of clutch there. Okay, so that's back to the first hole down here now in that little turnbuckle-y thing. That's a little better, I think. Oh, geez. It's right to the, the boards are now. I don't feel something like super hard at the bottom. I just like it to not maybe swing back so far. So I'm gonna see if I can adjust a little stopper down here a bit more. Let's see, how am I gonna keep that to stay there? I wonder if it's even tight. <laughs> it might even be tight. And that's probably not the right size for there. Oh, it's not even tight. Oh my gosh, isn't that awful? That's a little better. That's a little better. So now it's, I'll show you the pedal. So now it's down a little more where it's a little more accessible to your foot and it's, it's got a bit before it kind of gets pushing there. So, I like that. That'll work. And you can adjust that out too if that was too much. You can have it come up more now, right? So now we got more play. And if it's not enough, Well, that's like hardly anything now. Uh, I think I'm gonna go a little bit, a little slack there. I'm gonna try it there. Okay, tighten that up and away we go. All right, we'll try to hold it here. Someone did a real quick paint job on this. Didn't take much time. Come on, you were in there. That helps a bit. And I don't know why that's so much play in there, but uh, hopefully there's enough bolt left in there. I don't know what's left in that thing, but anyways, that'll help a bit for now, anyways. 
And the seat, I want to paint this up because it looks terrible, so I'm going to get it off probably. How do they mount that on there? Some kind of weird lock nut guy. And I think if I can get a... Uh, what size that is? Something in there to maybe loosen these two bolts. I think it'll go back a little bit. It's not going to get much, but... A little bit will help because me and my long legs need a little more room. Well, I probably don't need to get it right off, but I might get it right off. If it'll come off, it might not come off of here. Oh. That's the easy one. <laughs> the other one's a lot more buried back in here. And uh, I should be able to get it, but uh, if I can get on the silly thing, get on there. Get on there now. Can't get a socket in there, that's for sure. Am I on it enough there? I think so. Oh, not so bad. Oh, sweet. I'll tell you, I love these ratchet wrenches. They are fantastic. You're not really supposed to use them apparently for breaking off though, but I guess everybody does. I think it's just these two that hold it on here. Oh no, that took that whole thing in. I didn't expect that. this one too. Instead of the nut coming off, it's unthreaded the whole bolt. Kind of smart, I think, back in the day, you know, if they would have thought, let's reverse thread those. Maybe they didn't know how to do that. Yeah, I took the whole guy out, so that'll need cleaned up and put back together. This one, if we can get her out of here. I'm going to take this whole thing with me to my other garage and look it over and stuff. And it looks like it's really, really wore out. We'll have a better look at it inside there maybe, but I really want to get the seat painted up at least. Oh, it's heavy too, holy cow. Maybe actually I'll take it off that side. But uh, yeah, I should be able to move that back. I'll have to blow these holes all out of here now. It's, uh, it was right up to the front, so I should be able to move it back to Kind of about there, so I'm only going to game about a half an inch by the dirt line, but half an inch will be a fair bit, though I think. But um, yeah, well, I'll have a look at her. It. It's quite a quite a thing. Like it's got its own spring system in it, but the way it works is like, wow, that's going to wear out quick, and it kind of did. Well, you can definitely see where they didn't spray and clean. It looks like it was brushed on the seat for sure. You can see brush marks. Um, I was thinking of what I could do, if this isn't going to work for my length of legs, what I could probably do is make another plate and make it longer. I guess, I think it's this way, so it would slide back even more, but I'm going to try it with that. I mean, I could even cut this open a little more here, you know, up to there and uh, cut cut this one up a bit more here and that would give me another if I get another inch out of it that might be all right but uh, I had some oily stuff on the seat here so that's what that is anyways catch you later thanks again for watching and you guys have a good day